Hey guys, it's Tommy from Galpin Auto Sports, and this is gonna be a unique Bronco. Why, you might ask? This Bronco is gonna be getting the first Bronco RTR kit that Galpin has installed. And then after the RTR kit's installed, we're gonna be wrapping and protecting all of the painted surfaces in Avery paint protection material. I want you guys to tag along for the ride, check out the progress, and I hope you guys enjoy the build. So right now we're trying to get organized, laying all the RTR parts out. We're trying to see which parts are gonna go on this Bronco. We have RTR rock sliders, bumper, grill, light bar. We're gonna do a spare tire mount with a whole bunch of RTR accessories. So far today, we finished installing the rock sliders on the side. We also finished installing the rear bumper. Still got a, so we got a long ways to go. All right, so we just wrapped up the rear. We finished installing the rear bumper, the spare tire carrier, and the gas can right here, jerry can. It's actually a pretty cool feature. You know, if you're off-roading, sometimes you might run out of gas, so this is gonna come in handy. Since we installed that jerry can in the back, we don't want it to hit the tail light or the fender or anything in that nature in that corner. So RTR makes this nice our door stopper here, adjustable door stopper. Now we're gonna take you guys to the front. Now we're working on the front end. I already took the bumper off. We're gonna install a different one, a different trim level Bronco bumper with the RTR uh, tubular end caps, and we're gonna install RTR grill, and then after that, we're gonna do the RTR light bar. Hey Daniel, what's up? What are you doing? Yo, what up Tommy? Uh, I'm just starting the, I'm starting the install on this front light bar. Nice, I'm looking, I love how it's looking. It's all coming together, we got the grill on. Yeah, it's got coming the along. Left. Dude, these things are beefy. Yeah, they're solid. Nice. Did they get welded in or did they get bolted in? No, they're bolted in on the on the frame. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And I see you got the bumper. Yeah, I just finished installing the rear bumper with this uh, spare tire carrier. So how's the whole thing work? So basically, the whole tire carrier here has a whole bunch of accessory mounts. So kind of like this jerry can where it has this nice little slot right here where you can you know, take cool. it off. Put it back in. So that like locks it in place too, so there's yeah. no one can steal it. Correct. Nice. And you can put a lock here in the bottom of anything. That's cool. It has the RTR logo on it. That's badass. Yeah. And then, and then since this jerry can is here, you don't want to have the door swing open too wide. So RTR makes this fancy little uh, stopper right here, adjustable stopper. So it'll stop wherever you need it to. Nice. So it, so won't it doesn't get the tail overextend. Line. Correct. Huh. And this looks pretty beefy, and I see that they relocated the camera. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I also like that uh, RTR also upgraded here. Their hardware to ARP hardware. Oh, nice. So when you have the, those big 37, 35 inch tires, uh, it won't like flex the body or damage it in any way. Nice. See, that's the cool little things that they do that yeah. you know makes a difference. And then the bumper just bolt on, tubular. Yep. Nice, okay. Cool. When do you think it'll be ready? Uh, probably tomorrow morning should be ready. Nice. Let's take it on a road test. Yep.
So we just got the Bronco back from Daniel after installing the RTR kit. And now we're just taking the backing off of the actual PPF and getting it prepped so, as well as the hood, getting it prepped so we can lay this on. The solution that we made the Avery films tacking really nicely with it. It's not too, too sticky and it's not too soapy. So that's just the, just the right amount of tack. We'll break it up into either fours or half and half. So we finished all the PPF and let it cure and now we're just adding all the RTR decals so we can uh, finalize the rest of this build. And here it is, our RTR Bronco. It's the very first that Galpin Motors have done and we are very proud of it. So this vehicle, not too long ago, started off as a bone stock Bronco that arrived from Ford Motor Company in our lot. And now it's a customized, truly badass and one of a kind Bronco. Starting from the front, the first thing you're gonna notice is this grill. Not only has the grill been redesigned, but also it has lights in it, unique to RTR. Looking down to the bumper, this truck didn't have the modular bumper that these Broncos come with, so we upgraded it to the modular bumper. And what RTR does is they go a step further and they have these end caps that are custom. Looking up, it's undeniable the next thing you're gonna see, which is the lights. Obviously, you wanna have lights for any kind of off-road use for visibility, but the main difference is during nighttime off-roading. Nighttime off-roading, you definitely want lights up on the top of the vehicle as high up as you can get it, because then it's gonna illuminate the terrain and it's gonna show you depth. One important piece of protection on SUVs and vehicles that you're gonna take off-road trucks is rock rail protection. These sliders are meant to take the weight of the entire vehicle and they can sustain that weight. So if you land on a rock over there, you can technically drive over and just slide that rock through this. Granted, the bars will get damaged, but it's gonna save your truck and your sheet metal. So these rock sliders are integral. And why does it kick out here, you ask? These are designed so if you rest up against a tree branch or a limb and you're rolling along it, this kicks the tree branch out so you're not gonna damage your rear quarter panel. Because if this was the same height over here, you would bash into your um, fender flare here. So they wing out and they kick out at the end to give you more protection uh, for the rear end of the truck. Uh, wrapping around to the back, definitely noticeable. It's much more aggressive, it's much more unique. You have a rear bumper setup with a tire carrier and a jerry can accessory. Uh, so it's a tubular rear bumper that gets installed and it has provisions for your uh, backup sensors if your truck did come with one. It has a spare tire carrier that houses the spare tire and is adjustable depending on the size of the tire you're running. And then one of the coolest things is this jerry can holder. On the bumper you have recovery points welded in which are very, very useful, especially out on the trail. You don't have to dig under the car and try to find somewhere to hook into. The vehicle has been leveled out uh, so it gives it a nice level stance sitting there and then you have the RTR's custom wheels wrapped in a set of Nitto Ridge Grappler tires that gives you the best performance on and off-road. So once the RTR portion of the build was completed, we focused our attention on protection. Avery has a brand new paint protection material and film that they've put out. So we reached out to them and we got some material for this truck. Every single painted surface has been wrapped with their paint protection film. And I love the way it came out. Uh, it lays beautifully. It looks very clean and nice. You, visually, you can't even tell it's on there until you really get close. And what this paint protection film does is it's gonna protect the vehicle, whether it's on the road or off the road. So on the road from any rocks, chips, debris that's gonna come off on the highway and hit the vehicle and off road, you're gonna have a lot of damage possibly to the side where you're gonna have branches, trees, and shrubs that you're gonna drive next to and you're gonna be able to be scraping the vehicle. So the Avery PPF filmer is gonna give the vehicle 360, 360 degree protection and it's gonna make sure that the truck looks as good as it does right now years down the road. 
hope you guys enjoyed this build. If you guys have any questions about it, please let us know. And if not, we'll see you guys on the next one.